Okay, Anand will uh, give you an introduction to geriatrics and uh, 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 particularly some areas of opportunity that you uh, experience and visit. No, I will just share all the uh, bitter taste I had doing geriatrics. Yeah, yeah, you also process. worked on a product uh, in the uh, catering to geriatrics. So probably you have to start with the definition. Yeah. And after that we will have uh, Sandeep coming in and talking about a personal side of it from a personal experience of it just to give you a flavor for and make maybe relating to many of us will be able to relate to them. So <coughs> we'll start with that. Yeah. So uh, so this is a story I'm gonna share uh, about how I quickly spent uh, around fifty lakh rupees, right? Trying to do stuff. Uh, <laughs> and I laugh about it now, uh, of course. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, uh, geriatrics is a space where, you know, people potentially associated directly with, you know, as people get old, they need health care support and they need uh, solutions to solve their health care needs. It need not necessarily be just that, right? It could be even as simple as providing uh, financials, financial inclusion, um, customer service models, um, uh, living care models, um, um, poverty elevation models, also looking at uh, frameworks um, which can integrate into the smart city framework as well in terms of uh, geriatric uh, support. Um, what, so I'll just tell you a story of what we did. Right? So we, this was in 2009. Um, yeah. Uh, so we thought, okay, India is, well, by the way, India in another two, three years, we're going to have about 140 million people who are crossing the age of uh, 60, right? So it's a huge market, you know, so 140 million, for those of you, is like half the population of the United States, you know, so it's 330 million. So um, huge opportunity, you know, just a sub-segment of our population provides a much larger market size. So population uh, explosion is a good thing in this case, right? Um, so what we did was we looked at it and said, okay, uh, people are getting older, right? That's a good thing. Uh, more and more uh, people in your age groups are moving abroad, right? And uh, their parents are getting older, right? So, uh, and they were increasingly stuck in uh, large houses or, yeah, large houses with very little support, right? The labor force was also uh, getting more expensive, you know, and most of them were government people and living on pensions and things. So we thought, can we look at using technology to come up with models where uh, we could actually have them track you know, um, or in case of emergency, things like that, right? So we came up with two models uh, based on IoT for that point, right? So one was like a belt buckle, right? Um, which would actually include a axochrometer or gyroscope and um, would also have a fall sensor, right? So we came up with a belt buckle and for the ladies, we came up with a pendant. Um, and the uh, use case was, okay, we will look at the markets abroad, well, we will look at India, but also look at the markets abroad, right? Um, and when we went through this exercise, everything was good, right? So we did the technology, we built the technology, we did tests, um, we went and spoke to a lot of doctors, and everybody was happy with what we were doing. They said, I don't know how many of you know, but uh, falls, in hospitals is one of the few mandated requirements by the government, right? I don't know why they do that. But if the government of India mandates every hospital to report the number of falls, falls in a hospital. And I don't know what other metric they track, but this they track. I don't know why they track it, but that's what it is. So we thought, all right, this is cool, you know, our product is good. So um, we ran this. Uh, and when we spoke to doctors, they said this is fantastic, right? So the way this product would work is if let's say you have a very high speed of fall, right? It will actually trigger off the, it will do that accelerometer analysis and it will say, okay, this person probably has an event, right? And what it will do is it will immediately track the bodily functions for about 30 seconds 
there is no response in terms of getting back, it will send alerts, right? And on the other side, you had a mobile app, which was GPS configured uh, with, you know, you could have up to 10 people put in, and you could actually uh, track where each one of those 10 contacts were, and who's going to accept the emergency response, whatever. We built all that stuff. Everything was great, right? So the technology side was fantastic, built it, and then we wanted to test it. Right. So, uh, given that my father himself is, well, at that time he was about 85 years old, now he's 93. Um, so, we said, let's give it to him, right? It's a small thing, maybe they learn, right? So, gave it to my father. First things first, he said, no, I can't use this. Um, I'm a normal, I'm living well, I'm not sick. Do you think I'm sick? I said, no, it's not about sickness, it's about emergency. He said, there is going to be no emergency. I don't need it. Right? So then you start understanding, oh, maybe people think a little differently. And they do. Right? So for every senior citizen, he or she needs to feel that they're in good shape. Right? Because it's a mental thing. Right? That was the first step we found. Then I said, no, no, I'm putting this, we want to test this. Right? And then I go come back to Bangalore, he's in Chennai. And then I find he's taken it, kept it in this, beat up. And it, right? That's the first problem, right? So the same kit we shipped to the United States, where one of our um, my partners was there in Florida, right? Florida being the senior citizen state, great model. And there, this was a pendant, right? So the guy gave it to his mother-in-law uh, to wear, and she was 87 years old. So um, perfect, right? And uh, after about two weeks, we got feedback from there that. The pendant made her feel institutionalized, right? Which means it didn't look cool enough for her to do that, first thing. Second thing was, she was saying, I'm still young, right? I don't need to wear this. I go to ballroom dancing, right? Hip hops, you know? They have senior citizen get, they get togethers. So I go over there. I'm not a, uh, the words they use were different. But basically she said, I'm not a patient. Right? And I can't use this. And this system of falling, you know, in India was a cool thing because the alert will go off. You'll have people, time is not a problem for people in India. Right? There, for every alert, it was $450. Because the alert will go to a messaging solution and they would send their person to check. And labor was expensive. Right? So, and then the, the other problem we found was. At that time, Google Maps would show you the street where this happened within 300 meters, right? Now, of course, I hope it shows the exact location. I think it does, right? But uh, so, which house will you go knocking to? So, this was how I blew out a large chunk of money, right? So, what I'm trying to say is a few things, right? Make sure you understand the psyche of, of the person, right? Very important. Make sure you understand the social, cultural aspects around what you're doing, especially the senior citizen space. If you're building models, make sure uh, global models will not work. You know, you have to split that up significantly. It's not like any other demographic where you say 20 to 35, they probably have similar habits. It's really not the case. Senior citizens, uh, day and night difference between senior citizens in the US and senior citizens in India. Right? Seniors, 80, 80 year olds in the US go on dates. They are singles night. 80 year olds in India take Amrutanjan and then sleep in the night. Right? So, so, I mean, that's something to really, really understand. We learned all this the hard way. Right? And I'm saying it's a wonderful space to be in, but really, really think through this. Right? Simple solutions could be like, you know, for example, my father, right? Every time he has to go to a hospital, it's a two-week plan they have to do, right? So they have to plan when they go to the hospital, right? And they have to plan for the taxi to come, get ready, go there. They have to plan to wait because the doctor, even though he says 10.30, he won't see them at 10.30. Which means with their sugar and everything else, they have to take snacks, all those things to sit there and eat. A right? lot of those dynamics are there. And then he'll come back after his test. Then three days later, some back pain, again he has to go, again apply. So can you provide an integrated approach? Could even be a simple solution, right? So if a senior citizen is coming, can the hospital have a special queue? Can they actually do 
uh, minimize the touch points of the senior citizen. As long as they're there, can they do a much more better holistic checkup? Things like that. Simple things could for value. Right? Could even be business models to look at. So that's all I wanted to say. So thank you.